Hey guys, it's Man18 and here, and welcome to my honest review on Miscreated. This is an online hardcore survival game that takes place in a post-apocalyptic world. It's developed and published by Entrada Interactive. It came out on December 18th on PC, and for the console guys out there, I don't think this game has ever come into consoles. But anyway, since Miscreated is a multiplayer hardcore survival game, you'll have to deal with mutants, extreme weather conditions, radiations, and last but not least, you'll have to watch out for players who will kill you for that precious loot, and sometimes even when you don't have anything because as you probably already know this world is filled with dickheads now that you know what the game is about let's start this review with the graphics miscreated looks good especially for an open world survival game i really like the way water and rain look on the other hand though i think the snow looks terrible actually not the snow but it's the gray grass that I really don't like. And when it comes to animals, I don't think they look bad, but they definitely need some fur. It would probably hurt the performance a little bit, but it would make the wildlife look so much better. And by the way, there are eight types of mutants, ranging from giant roaches to human spiders. They all look good, but there are only two player models so far, a male and a female character model. So if you don't wear a helmet or anything that covers your face, you're gonna end up with a bunch of clones that move in a fucked up way. Because the animations are so bad, they kinda ruin the game's awesome some graphics. Oh, and one more thing before I move on to the game's performance, there are many visual bugs like the broken water reflections, light going through the roof, and sometimes it also goes through walls even though there are no holes or anything like that, and player shadows, as you can see, they can glitch out every now and then. And last but not least, Miscreated is a very demanding game, so if you have a below average PC, don't expect to run it. It's kinda justified though, cause the game looks really good, and if it wasn't for the bad animations and certain low quality models, I would give the graphics a 9.5 out of 10. But based on the game's current state, I'ma give the graphics an 8.5 out of 10 and I'ma move on to the sound. So we're gonna start with the music or actually the absence of music apart from the one you can hear on the main menu cause in game there's no background music. So moving on to the sound effects, I like the ambient noises, you know most of them are really good, but the gun sounds are way too quiet. I wanna hear some guns that bust my eardrums, I wanna hear gunshots from 2000 miles away, you know I'm exaggerating a little bit but you know what I mean. Oh, and before I forget there are some sound effects that are really terrible and by the way there are no dialogues on this game apart from the players themselves using voice chat there are also walkie talkies with frequencies and all that stuff so you can use them to communicate with other players or just to spy on them find them kill them and steal their shit so i'm gonna give the sound a 6.5 out of 10 and i'll let you listen to the game's audio for like 10 seconds and then we'll talk about the gameplay Now keep in mind in Miscreated's case 1.0 means it's in beta, so all the features are here, this is the game and now the devs will focus on fixing and optimizing it. In other words, get rid of most bugs and make the game run smoother. And by the way, shout out to Mateus, a Brazilian friend of mine who guided me through Miscreated's world and therefore helped me make this review. So Mateus, if you're watching this vid, valeu mano. Now for those of you who don't speak Brazilian Portuguese, valeu mano means thanks bro. That's gonna be it for today's lesson. Now let's talk about Miscreated's gunplay. The gunplay itself feels good, but like I said a minute ago, guns should be way louder. Now I'm gonna talk about some of the stuff that I liked about Miscreated. So first things first, there's a first person view and a third person view. And the second thing I like about the game is that there is a good variety of mutants, like baby spiders, giant roaches, human spiders, which I thought were scorpions at first, there are mutant hounds, brute you know what i'm gonna go with a different accent for this one yeah habibi there are brute mutants on this game that will smash your ass so watch out anyways let's go back to the regular accent there are plenty of animals like deers pigs rats wolves bears and speaking of animals you can hunt so you get meat guts skin hide etc there is also a crafting system not sure i like the user interface but you can craft tons of things you can also do some farming even though i think it's a little too optimistic to think that nobody would kill you while you're watering your plants oh and i forgot to mention something related to the crafting system there's also a building system so you can build a base where you can safely store your loot and all that stuff and there are usable vehicles like bicycles dirt bikes cars trucks etc and uh, you know since this is a survival game it has all the survival elements you have to eat drink 
drink, watch out for radiation, food poisoning. And when you don't feel too good, your character throws up. So you can see the vomit on the floor or on whatever it is that you're facing. But I wonder where the vomit goes when you throw up while wearing a helmet. Anyways, last but not least, there is a dynamic weather system. But enough with the good stuff, let's talk about everything that I didn't like about Miscreated. And we're gonna start with melee attacks that aren't very accurate. And do you know why we say melee and we don't say melee? You don't have to answer this question because first of all, I can't hear you. And second, I just asked this question so I can answer it myself and sound kind of smart, you know. No, but seriously though, melee is basically the French word melee. But since English speaking people can't say melee, they say melee, like oh yay. What I'm trying to say here is that melee attacks in Miscreated don't work that well. Other than that, the AI seemed good at first. I mean, it's better than Daisy's, but still broken most of the time because you can just close the door and get rid of a zombie and they can't do anything about it. And that's why you can hunt deers with a hatchet because they're dumb enough to stop running away from you and as soon as they stop you catch up with them and you fucking kill them like a savage and another thing that i don't like about this game is that your screen gets blurry when, whenever you have some food poisoning action going on i think it's unnecessary and annoying especially when you try to record some footage for youtube but you know even with these issues the game still gives you some epic and unforgettable moments like the first time you find your friend in game i think i talked about all the gameplay related stuff at this point so i'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 and i'm gonna move on to the replayability now the whole game is based around replayability since almost everything in miscreated tries to kill you so sooner or later you're gonna end up dead and you're gonna have to start over which isn't a problem if you like survival games and most importantly if you play with friends even though losing all your stuff is always frustrating especially when a quote-unquote friendly guy shoots you in the back to steal all your stuff then you get like you motherfucker now i have to start over and this time i'll kill every single piece of shit i see and that's how you end up with a not so friendly server. But anyways, I'm gonna give the replayability an 8 out of 10 and I'm gonna move on to the fun factor. Miscreated is a blast with friends. Alone, it can be a bit boring, but then again, I played the forest alone and it bored me to death. Then I played it with my brother and I had so much fun. So if you're like me, make sure you got a friend who's got the game or at least who's planning on buying it. And you'll have tons of fun playing Miscreated. So I'm gonna give the fun factor a 7.5 out of 10. Now when it comes to the value for money, Miscreated is gonna cost you $25. Actually right now it's on sale, so it's only gonna cost you 20 bucks. So if you like survival games, you'll spend the first three or four hours on miscreated trying to learn how everything works and then either you make some friends on this game or you find a nice server and get your friends to join you you'll probably end up spending so many hours in miscreated's world either being friendly or killing every single player you see what i'm trying to say here is no matter how you play this game you'll most likely get your money's worth so i'm gonna give the value for money a 7 out of 10 if you're not into survival games then well you probably didn't make it this far into the vid but most importantly you'll think of this game as a chore now if you like survival games then you have at least one friend who's willing to play with you then miscreated is the game for you it still needs some serious polishing and even though i'm not that into survival games i had some fun and there were definitely some epic and unforgettable moments so i'm gonna give miscreated a 7.5 out of 10 it's very similar to DayZ, which finally came out a week ago but miscreated has better graphics and it's 20 dollars cheaper at least on steam and in my opinion miscreated only needs a couple of big patches to go from a 7.5 to an 8 that's gonna be it for this review thanks for watching appreciate it a lot don't forget to leave a like if you found this review useful and please subscribe if you're new to the channel it's been hitman89 see you guys very soon